Yeah, and I, f- I wanted to call her out on stage after that, but I feel like the bar is like liable if you drink <laughs> and then get and then she gets into a car and drives away. Like I didn't want to say anything. Then the manager's like, "Wait, what?" Dude, that's a thing in state in some states. Like in Massachusetts, there's like a. I remember when I bartended there. There is like a level of responsibility that the bar has for the patron on like over serving them. Like you do yeah. run a risk of like they could come back. And so you'd be like, you overserved me. I don't know if that should be a rule. I don't know if a it's like a hard and fast rule. I think it's like something you might need a lawyer to. Yeah, like how do you prove that? It's. I think it's like one of those laws where it's like similar to like how you can get arrested for shooting someone who breaks into your house. You see the YouTube prankster? No. You didn't hear this story? Oh, wait. Yeah, he was pulling some prank and got shot. And then the guy who shot him, they let the guy go. Yeah. Because that it was self-defense. I'm like, that's... I don't know about that. But why was it... What, what was the prank? It was like... Uh, I didn't... From what I've heard... And I'm a big headlines guy. I'm not a big <laughs> substance guy. Who needs deets? I don't... I'm, I'm, I like to fill in my own deets in the stories. <laughs> Just give me the context. I, I treat the news like a Mad Lib. Just tell me the theme and then I'll fill in the rest. From what I heard was he, it was like a, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you type of thing, and the guy pulled his gun out and shot him right in the stomach, in like a mall. Dude, malls are wild. Wait, man. what state was this? Not sure. A, p- a pretty chill one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was a Florida or a Texas. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it happened. You know, in Queens. Or no, something. definitely not. Damn, bro. By the way, I did something special for the show today. Well, first of all, fa- fan favorite. Chris Metcalf. Oh, am I a fan studio. favorite? Oh, you're a fan favorite. Hey, kids. Dude, I fucking love coming on doing this show. Dude, my coworker saw the video you made. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, I didn't make it. Thinking that's like a good defense. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're still in it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> my favorite part of that whole video is at the very end, after I touch your foot, and you, you do that thing where you... You want to talk, but you can't. You're like, <sighs> <laughs> you buckled me. You verbally buckled my knees, dude. <laughs> dude, I love telling people about this show and about like the fans you're accruing. Yeah. It's my fucking favorite. So I did something special for the fans. I hope this sh- translates. That's a come. <laughs> it's a come target for you freaks. <laughs> Wait, did you do it on both feet? How did it stay like that? I did it in the bathroom. Oh, you did it just now. <laughs> and then this is for the non-sexual feet, people. This is just a smiley face. You're such a... You're insane. Hey! Look at this, you guys. I was going to stop so we get googly eyes and glue them to my feet, no, but... No, you weren't. <laughs> I didn't have time. I was running late. <laughs> This has to be the most viewed episode. We can stop now. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to start like buying like little wigs. <laughs> yeah, like little outfits for them. Thank you and for do, like, doing little <laughs> Thank you on behalf of them. Because I've had some real uh, Shiite Muslims on this show. Shiite feet Muslims. Oh, they they're like all prude. Take, they won't take their shoes off. They won't take their socks off. Man, Kuzi refused to take his shoes off. Bro, they would love him. He's well, well. Apparently, you didn't read the comments. You're talking about his bulge in the comments, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Okay, I, I'm not gonna name this mutual friend of ours, but I found out that a friend of ours is into feet shit, right? Yes, dude. He was. I showed him the video I made where I was like doing this shit, yeah. and I'm thinking like, oh, this is funny. He goes, uh, I can't watch this. Why? This is hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, and then he was telling me, like, too, like, he was like, dude, I, I love the feet shit so much. Like, he's like, if I'm walking down the street and there's, like, a guy, like, a hot guy with a pebble in his shoe, and he's got to, like, on the street, like, struggle and, like, take his shoe off and, like, find that little pebble and knock that pebble out, and there's, like, an exposed foot on the street. A guy rocking no, no socks? No, no even with the socks. It's hot. But just like a like, I'm, I just so don't get this. I it's weird because it's 
simultaneously innocent but freaky at the same time. I mean, there's zero innocence. There's so no innocence. But compared to other kinks, it's pretty innocent. I think it's weirder. Than and figging? You. Yes. You think feet stuff is weirder than figging? Conceptually. What about like what about like gimp stuff being like gimp, like locked in like a little box? But like I understand that more than feet. I think both are very odd. But I get that more than I get the feet. Mm. Because, like, people, you like, uh, you know, if especially if you're a powerful guy, you like to be talked down to. Sure. Talked down to women. Like, in your head, that's how it all works. And then. Right. It's like a reverse situation. I get that. But, like, in the comments, they're like, Rich, I like your arches. I was like, what do the arches have to do with anything? <laughs> but that's where it's so innocent to me. It's like, it's like, I like your arches. I like the balls of your feet. No one's ever well, no, they like balls. No, <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever said anything about the. They talk about arches and they talk about socks versus no socks, and that's kind of what it seems to be. Intr- I, I'm sure it spans like the. Oh, there's a spectrum. So the the friend who I was referring to told me I said so is the is the guy that's attached to the feet important? Like could could you just find some hot Great feet question. and then have like an uggo? And he said, no, it's like a Butterfeet situation. <laughs> butter <feet. laughs> yeah, everything's good, Butterfeet. <laughs> or other way around, yeah. Would you guys like to see butter on our feet? Is that a thing? Probably some into? people would like that. They said it's not about touching. A lot of people comment, it's not because we ask every episode. About, it's not about touching or rubbing or anything like that. Wait, touching or rubbing the feet? Right. Because you would imagine you'd want to do something physical to the feet. They just like looking at the feet. So, okay, but but the last episode I was on, I think I made a comment about feet smelling or something, and somebody DM'd me, one of the one of the feet people, they go, we absolutely love stinky feet. Yeah, that's a, ever since you've been on, that's a very big theme in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to lie, when I was in the bathroom drawing these on my feet, I kind of felt like it was the first time in my life I was like, this is what it feels like to get ready for porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You were in there for a while. There's I was like, camera. Okay. There's a light. There's a camera. There's mics. I'm prepping my feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. My name's Footsie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Aim here. Step right up. <laughs> Aim here. Oh, a foot carnival? Step right up. Come on the target. Win a prize. <laughs> Just like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I was going to ask you like how Vegas was. <laughs> and... But then this happened. Can I be honest? I'm very impressed how good it looks by you doing it yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty impressive. Thanks, man. Yeah. I took cartoon classes when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you should be proud of. What does that mean, cartoon classes? Like, they, like, teach you how to, like, draw, like, the different cells, like, and, like, the p- progression of, like, animation and stuff. And you're like, one day I'm going to turn men on digitally. <laughs> Like someone else's podcast. One day I'll use these skills to draw little cartoons on my feet for the freaks. Well, next week we're having Santi Espinosa on the show, and I can guarantee he's not going to do this. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You no, know what you 0%. should. Do? You know what you should do. You should just do. You know, release this episode, and then for that episode, release. Do a picture and picture of this episode on <laughs> mute in the corner, so we give the feet people what they want. That's right. Treat it like uh, on TikTok. It'll be like someone playing a video game beneath, <laughs> yeah. and then a podcast clip on top. Yeah. We'll do that for the whole episode, but yeah. just of your feet on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, Vegas was fucking sick. Vegas was okay. Yeah, have you been to Vegas? I've been once. Okay, what yeah. was the situation? Bachelor party, expensive. Classic. The white, like, yeah, spent too much money. Stayed at the Cosmopolitan. Not ooh, the brag. Ooh, ooh. Now, uh, did you guys shoot guns while you were there? Well, I don't know if you saw my text message to you, which I, I guess you didn't. Oh, I don't think I, I did. I was with my parents last weekend, and I my dad was like, "Oh, what's." Metcalf up too. I said, "Oh, he's actually in Vegas." And in a millisecond, he said, "Oh, he's going to shoot guns." Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> in a very like, yeah, okay. he's like, "I got a lot of friends that go out there and 
<laughs> but they go to shoot the guns. Yeah, dude. I was like, why? Like, That's just a good place, I guess. Well, I'll tell you why. Okay, fill us in. As someone who shot guns many a time and talked about it on All the show. All over the place. Dude, Nevada allows fully automatic weapons. That's why. Yep. Okay. I got to shoot a Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifle. I don't know what that means. That's the one where the bullet is about this big, and they it's American Sniper. Chris Kyle. When he fucking shoots like a mile away, yep. that gun. So how far were you? Oh, it, it was normal shooting range. But, <laughs> but like, because okay. I went, because they have like, a, in, bro, they have every gun at this place. It was called, uh, it's whatever, it will come to me. But like, it's called uh, <laughs> Guns R Us. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's it's like I, I it, it's some military sounding thing, but anyway, uh, bro, the the menu, bro, they have everything. They have like World War Two guns. The menu, yeah, dude. They, they call have it a, a menu? binder, bro, a binder with all the guns on them. And yet, then, then you can okay. do they have packages, and then you can do a la carte. Was it? They run it like a steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, it's like a sushi place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I built my own package because I'm not a fucking pussy. <laughs> I'll take the shotgun medium rare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a Spaz 12 with truffles. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I put together my own package. So I shot an M60, which is the Rambo. Yes. Gun, the <laughs> that I got a Desert Eagle, which is that is. the most insane handgun I've ever shot. It looks like a cartoon gun in my hand because yeah. it's so big. I shot an AK-47 because I needed. Uh, but that's not your first time shooting that. No, but the first time I shot it was semi-automatic and it kept jamming. So I needed like you want the real deal. Yeah, I need the real fucking you want deal. You want to put on a fur hat and feel like a Let true me tell you Ruski. something. Yeah, yeah, and I felt like a real Ruski. Yeah. The the I will say the AK-47, fully automatic, fun, not accurate. The AK-47, semi-automatic, with the scope on it, I nailed the head every time, baby. That's a fucking James Bond. They're skiing down the mountain trying to get him guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Well, you now, were with uh, Dan Pietetsky, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes. Shout out to him. Way too skinny. He's got the skinniest He's legs. very thin. Skinniest legs I've ever seen. He's lost weight. Dan, we, I know you're watching. You, what, what, dude, he's shooting the gun and his body's going backwards. He's a tall guy, too. It's a lot <laughs> yeah, of he, limb. He has a lot of limb, dude. He's a spider monkey. Yeah. Yeah, he's the Soviet spider monkey. <laughs> yeah. <Nah. laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. But yeah, like like a- AK-47, fun gun. Like if I had to shed of guns, I would definitely have one just for like the nod to the gun. But I would definitely go mostly semi-automatic. And then when I'm at a wedding, you know, fully. Full auto. You plan on going to any Afghan wedding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That seems fun. It does just, seem fun. Just letting a clip go into the sky. <laughs> Would you rather that in an open bar? Because they don't have both. No. I'd rather shoot the guns in the sky. All right. There you go. Yeah, dude. In excess style. Guns in the sky. Deep cut. Is okay. that like, uh, like an Irish funeral or an Irish wake? It's an open bar at a, at a funeral home. Yeah. Is it an <laughs> Afghan wake? <laughs> Where you just shoot guns wildly at him. Yeah, there's a fucking shed full of ammo. <laughs> Bring your own gun and just blast them into the sky. I like the ones, too. There's some weddings. I don't even think they're Afghan weddings because, like, I'll see the dudes in suit and, like, tuxedos. But they'll be, like, the wedding party. And then at some point during the reception, you see everyone pull out guns. And then some of them will have they'll be handguns and they do the... Like, they're all just shooting them in the sky. And they're wearing tuxedos? Yeah, I feel like it's like one of those like Baltic kind of countries. Oh, it's like, like Albanian. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not all Middle Eastern. It's like those like where you get your hair plants it, done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Albania, a Turkey, uh, Kosovo. We acknowledge Kosovo. <laughs> yeah, is that a country? Yeah. Well, oh, you, oh, yeah. That's a big thing oh, over okay. there. You know, over there, it's like Armenia versus Azerbaijan, and they're they're like that's a big deal, and you're like, no, it's not. This is one of those things. Kosovo is a part of Albania that Albania says you're not a... It's like Texas. Right. Right. So Kosovo's like, we're our own thing. And Albania's like, shut the fuck up, dude. But you pay Albanian taxes. Right, 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 right. Right. But like Dua Lipa says, she's like, I'm something, but she's from Kosovo. But she can't acknowledge it. Oh. It's wild, dude. 
We're doing this is an international podcast. Come on, feet, and we're, we'll talk <laughs> geopolitics. Yeah, dude. Well, that's like Barcelona's like that in in Spain. Yes. If you go to Spain, you're like, oh, Catalan. Are you spe- yeah, yeah. They're like, I am, Can- I am not Spain. I am Catalonian. And you're like, no, you're gay. Yeah, dude. you're fucking gay, is what you <laughs> yeah, are. You're, yeah. you're a fucking Democrat, dude. You guys don't work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude. Oh, and then the last gun to round it off was the Barrett 50 caliber. Now, the reason I shot it okay. was because on the menu, they had a grenade launcher. I don't feel comfortable when you say menu, but okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. The binder, going, the binder. In the binder. A selection was okay. the a grenade launcher. And I and I was like, I want to shoot that. But you're and, indoors. Well, I so she goes, so she was like, okay. She goes, the thing with the grenade launcher is you shoot it's like you basically shoot like a blank so you're shooting like a canister but the canister's not going to explode right so she's like but if you want something like that because it's like a one-shot deal Mm -hmm. she was like i highly recommend you do the barrett 50 caliber and i was like let's fucking go and that was indoors indoors now this place you can rent tanks and they will take you You out to the rent tanks and they will take you out to the desert and you can fire off a fucking tank if you want they also have a mini gun. You know what a mini gun is? Like a like a prostitute gun? No. <laughs> yeah, like a little purse, a little purse pistol. Yeah, yeah, you keep it in your boot. <laughs> <laughs> that should be what a mini gun is. No, a mini gun is like that gun that's like on a helicopter where it like spins around, oh. and it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they had that there inside at the range. There was one lane that it's fucking mounted on it. And for three, it's like $300, you can shoot the minigun. And I said to her, I go, you have a fucking minigun? And she was like, she's like, all right, the minigun's sick, (laughs) but it's kind of like, she goes, it fires off something insane, like bullets, like 500 rounds in 1.5 seconds. Wow. So she's like, you're going to spend $300 for something that's going to take under two seconds. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right, maybe not. She goes, she leaned in. She goes, there's a bachelor party in there. I think they rented like five rounds of the minigun. Just go watch them do it. And I was like, perfect. Dude. So, dude, and you're in the range and you're with like, th- this is not like Nashville or Texas where they're like, here's all your guns. Go in there. They, You have like a guy with you. Yeah. <laughs> the entire you time. You had some sort of gun shaman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except he looks like he's in a militia. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do the others. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the guy we had actually kind of looked like Mancusi a little bit, which is funny. Loser. Yeah. Anyway, so, dude, they had the one, the minigun there. Bro, this thing, they shot it off. It's literally just a turret gun with the thing, and there's just a red button you hit, and just it just goes... <laughs> And just rips a fucking hole in the wall, dude. <laughs> it's fucking sick, bro. We had that, and we couldn't beat the Viet Cong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what the there hell? There were like little ants in the woods. We had bombs. We couldn't beat them. Is in the menu? Is there PTSD in the menu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get to suffer in the corner. <laughs> 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 and for three hundred dollars, you could wake up at four a.m. from the same dream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll be afraid of loud noises for the rest of your life. <laughs> for the next thirty years, you could drink three <laughs> pots of coffee in the morning. Would you like this? That's a package we offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny, dude. So <laughs> Vegas was good, dude. Vegas is so fucking good. I will say Skankfest, which I got to, sn- I, I got some stage time. So I technically, oh, hey. technically, you performed a performer at Skankfest. Thank you. Um, I heard about the DeRosa stuff. Wait, what was the DeRosa stuff? He, uh, him, and uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the politically correct term, transgender person. Oh, I missed this. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Wait, what happened? Is this like inside stuff? That's I don't like think it's inside stuff because I've been hearing about it on podcasts too. Would he hook up with a trans person? Yeah. Uh, well, kind of on stage, kind of not on stage. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. So, like, I got invited through Luke. Shout out Lucas McCrary. Shout if, out. If you don't know Luke, if you're not jerking off to my feet right now and you are listening to the show, 
Go check out Lucas McCrary. Easily one of the funniest comedians out there right now. Is he a uh, trans? So there was a, a stint in his life before I met him where he was going. He was saying that he was non-binary. Okay. Then at some point he was like, that's gay. I'm just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> then he moved to Texas. He was like, okay. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that not anymore, anymore, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, he's, uh, yeah, he just goes by he, him, guy. Um, but he had extra passes to, to Skankfest. Oh, was he in it? Yes. Oh, okay. He was in it. Because he was just on Just for Laughs and did very well oh, on Just nice. for Laughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got like, he murdered Just for Laughs. Anyway, so yeah, he got on Skankfest and he had like these extra like VIP pass things. So I got to go. So to me, it was like, really, it was a trip to Vegas while Skankfest was going on. Right. So like, I wasn't even at. I was at Skankfest maybe like a third of the trip. Got it. Like I was just like bopping around How Vegas. How long were you there? A week? Dude, no, not even close. I was there oh. like I got in like Friday, Saturday, Sunday and left like at like 5 a.m. on Monday. Okay. Nice little long weekend. Yeah. In and out. Nice. Which honestly is the right amount of time for Vegas because you could just I could just feel myself becoming more and more of like a degenerate as yeah. you're there. You get sucked at the, it's like the lights and the there's just it's just it honestly I never not liked Vegas. This okay. was my third time there, but I feel like this trip I really kind of fell in love with Vegas. Why is that? Not for the obvious reasons. Not like the obvious like I was having more like existential thoughts about Vegas where I was like, I feel like Vegas is the most American city. It's like the most American city. I feel like it's like the ultimate, like it's so Americana to me because you have this town in the, or this city in the middle of a desert that right. probably used to be like a trading post right. thing or whatever. Right. And then they were like, Hey, we don't have any resources here. We have really nothing to offer. I know. Let's be a city of degenerate activities. Let's bring in those Italians from New York. To fund <laughs> yeah. Them. Let's make gambling fun, prostitution legal. You can get any food you want. Well, prostitution's I mean, not legal. There. It's legal there. I'm not almost positive it's not. You have to go to like brothels or certain through certain channels. Okay. Where it is legal, like the girls go and get like tested. A brothel, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, you can't be like picking up street walkers, I don't yes. think. I, I don't I, think I, it's like that. Remember that from cops. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All your base level fucking. All uh, my base level legal knowledge, <laughs> knowledge is from, is from cops. cops. Yeah. Which is back, by the way. Yeah, the boys are they back. They brought the show back. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Trust me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm from a cops family. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was a lot of my childhood was us watching cops. My dad approached cops like we approach like open mics and he just critiques all the cops. Oh, that's right. Because your dad was <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That'd be it. It's not because like it would be someone being like a real jerk off to someone for like having like a baggie of weed. And my dad's like, this guy fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> it's like you can tell when a cop's never been in danger when he's treating someone like this. Right, a throwing baggie a book at weed. him over a baggie of weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or like they swer they're swerving in the lane. My dad's like, I won't even pull you over. Well, you also makes you wonder too, like how much they're putting it, playing it up for the camera. You know, the well, cameras that's a are there also. You know what I mean? Um, my dad said they ca cops came to his precinct once. And they got everything out. They took the cameras out. They got into a shooting seven minutes in, and they packed up and left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, we're not, I don't think they came. He wouldn't know, but I don't think they came back to like Brooklyn or New York in general. Well, I remember there was one season. There, there was like a couple of cops. There was this one cop that they would come back to a lot. It, I think it was Newark. Or Jersey City. That sounds about right. And there was one episode where they were like, you know how they'll jump around different places? Yeah. They did like a couple of episodes where it was like, it's all this cop and it's all Newark. Okay. We're going to have to find out who this cop was. Call us, <laughs> put it in the comments. Say something about the feed and find out who this cop was. Yeah. Do you, how do you think they picked the cameramen for cops? Do you think that's like the rookie or is that a veteran? I think it's a veteran. I would think it's a rookie. I think it's one of those gigs where, like, you want this gig. You think? I think so. Because I think with a show where you have such, it has such a history. I believe, I could be off, but I'm pretty sure. I remember taking media studies class 
It's the technically the first technically reality show ever. Yeah, I believe that. Like it was the first to be like, hey, no one's an actor. We're gonna bring cameras. Before the Osbournes. <laughs> Sharon! Sharon! Sharon, 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 that's it. Sharon! They should have did a hybrid episode where a cop (laughs) breaks through the door. (laughs) That would have been been early 2000s as fuck, dude. Dude, in college, we used to play the, do you play the drinking game, the cops drinking game? No. Oh, I mean, it's like any other drink. Yeah, it's it's like mullet, drink, no shirt, drink. Oh, that's fun. All the, yeah, you, you lay out the... The tropes, and okay. then yeah, when they happen, you drink. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah, that's f- it's fun. That's a nice little time. <laughs> uh, no, I would think it's a rookie because like they're like, okay, you're gonna have to run around with a camera on your shoulder for the next seven hours, get into shootings, and then you progress up, and eventually you want to be like NFL cameraman. Where you just sit down. Okay, okay, yes, yes. NFL sports camera guys. They, as far as I know, outside of like. You know, you're the cinematographer for the Batman movies or whatever. Yes. That's the job you want. Yes. That's NFL. The job. NFL. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, in the world of, like, camera gigs, I think the cops one would be a sought after one. Interesting. Or unless you want to, like, you're, you're like, I have a degree in forensic journalism. Well, because you They're probably like- want, I bet the money's good. And I bet um, it's a fucking adrenaline rush. If they're one of those. Yeah, because there's camera guys. Like, there's guys I came up with that were like I learned how to like operate certain cameras, but like I'm not like a camera guy. That's not my thing. Like I had to learn it out of like necessity. Right. But like I knew guys that they were like, I want to be a National Geographic videographer. Like I get that. they wanted that. So like they want that fucking like adventure. Like to be honest with you, I would. I would love to be a fucking camera guy for cops. You have a bulletproof vest on and a fucking camera. Well, yeah, and, you're, you. and there's a cop chasing. And it's like, let's fucking go. <laughs> you got to fucking go, dude. Dude, you'd That's- be running around with a camera in your right hand and a flask in another. And you're like, we're fucking yeah, yeah, go. We're yeah, doing it. Yeah, dude. It'd be so sick. You'd be starting to smoke on the... you starting to train it like you're a detective? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got my foot on a guy's back. I'm holding him down. I got my knee. You're like, Chris, get off. You're yeah, like, no, I'm in. My bad, my bad. You got it, Frank. You're starting to go to bars and you're telling <laughs> girls like, I'm a... I'm like a cop. Yeah, I'm just like a cop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing him my lanyard. I'm showing him my lanyard and my it's press like a pass. fake badge you got it's for a party press pass. Petty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They arrest you for impersonating a cop, but then you turn the camera around. On myself. <laughs> I'm being arrested. <laughs> I blur my face. <laughs> yeah, dude. It'd be so sick. Dude, my buddy is a cop down in Key West. I've definitely brought him up before. Dude, I, he told me that he would take That's me a on a ride. I want to do a fucking ride along, dude. That's a dream gig. I want to do a fucking ride along. That'd be so sick. What kind of crimes going down in Key West? I not think it's mostly like it's like drink. it's like mostly like you know dealing with like the local crackhead, you know, domestic dispute. You know everyone by name. Drunk, yeah, 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 yeah drunks, yeah. all that type of shit. I, I apparently I had an uncle that lived in Key West, gay uncle. No one talked to him because he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why he was a jerk? There really was a shred nice of guy. hope. There was a micro moment of hope where I was like, oh. He did something, and you're just like, nope, just gay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wouldn't know. You meet my grandfather. You think he's the nicest guy in the world. Little do you know he doesn't talk to his brother because he's a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> but he moved down to Key West. He got like a, he got some sort of hotel, and then he, I mean, you can't get married back then to a, to a guy who was like the king of Key West. Right. And then he inherited all this land and a mansion and everything when the guy died. And then he died of AIDS. No. Classic story. Wait, so your uncle did. So who got, where'd all the property go? I don't know. Mom, call us in. There's just like a vine covered empty <laughs> hotel mansion down there. <laughs> yeah, if you go. <laughs> waiting to be claimed. If you go down to Key West <laughs> and you drive by a mansion that there's still strobe lights going on inside, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, my uncle's house. <laughs> there's just vines. It's an old club. <laughs> It's still running. There's just a bunch of old gay guys voguing outside. Of the house. <laughs> They've been waiting there for 20 years <laughs> yeah. to get in. They treat it like, that's gay Elvis' house. 
That's gay Graceland. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's crazy about Key West too is like, have you been down there? No, never. So like, Key West, like, I feel like the perception is that like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go down there and like go to the beach, dude. There's no beaches down there. It's what rocks. It's rocks with like, like there are like some like little cove areas with sand, but it's a lot of like rocks meets the ocean. So all the times you see like people, cliffs or rocks, like like rocks, like it's not like. The beaches of Key West. I always thought there were beaches, yeah. It's it's all boats. It's a boat. It's a boat town. Yeah. It's like and Venice. So when you see people go, like, party on the beach, they'll take their little boat and they go to these sandbars at low tide. And all the boats oh. anchor up. And then, it, then there's a beach. But you got to take your boat there. You're not like... That's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad. But it's it's like not like, like you can just walk onto the beach. Yeah, like like again, like there are, but it's like not what you would want. It would be like going to a beach in Connecticut. Ugh. You know what I mean? You're just yes. like, what is this? Like this is just like a weird cove for like handicapped people and children <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? This isn't like a beach beach. Which isn't really the demo of Key West. No, 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 no. No. So like, yeah, like all the people that like live down there and like go out and like want to have like drinks on the beach, that sort of thing. You're actually taking a boat to like through the mangroves and then like to like a like a low tide sandbar where everyone like docks up and Don't they, they like have, have coolers uh, and their dogs and all that shit. They have wild hogs in Key West, right? It would not surprise me. Oh. Because once you start getting down the Everglades, yeah, sure. you, you, that's like a fucking jungle down there. That's the definition of fast and loose. Oh, yeah. The fucking, ever, all the animals that are down there, like. I've been there. I've been to the Everglades. I went to Everglades National Park, did an airboat tour, no big deal. Wait, classy really? family. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to go on one of those airboat. I was young, so I don't think boats. I really appreciated it. Right. At the time. I was like, there's a lot of fucking crocodiles here, dude. Or are they alligators? They're, They're alligators. Gators. They're alligators. Yeah, crocodiles are Australian. Down under. Is that true? Mm-hmm. One's salt and one's freshwater, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what delineates them. Maybe that's what it is. I also thought it was like, <laughs> I believe weird. crocodiles are significantly larger than alligators. I believe that. Like, I think, I think the biggest croc is bigger than the biggest alligator. Okay. Should we just look up what's the difference between crocs and alligators? We could. Again, this is not a facts podcast. <laughs> we do not now look I'm, into... Now I'm curious. Now I want to know the difference. I just know that Steve Irwin never wrestled an alligator. No. You know? Unless he came to America and was like, We're here in Florida. It all going to wrestle a gator. <laughs> yeah. Difference between... Gators and crocodiles. All right. What happened? No, you're good. The snout is the main differentiator between the two. That's stupid. With the crocodile having a narrower, narrow, narrow, narrower there you go. snout. Sound it out. Man, that's one of those tough words to say. No, it's not, but okay. But for me, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> narrower. <laughs> Interesting. I love a fucking. I love like. I mean, I've never really run into one in person, but they got to exist. Like those, like Bayou guys are like, oh yeah, I've been around a gator. Oh, the the gator. You don't know anything about a gator until you come face to face with a gator. With the gator. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, how autistic are scientists? Where to us, those are two of the same thing. But then scientists are like, no, one snout is bigger than the other. <laughs> They are not the same thing. They one snout's bigger than the other. They're two different things. And you're like, okay, dude, relax. We'll call them two different things. Or, or was it more that like, in America, we were like, we've discovered the gator here now. This is here. This is the gator. And then over our show, like, we've discovered a crocodile. These are crocodiles. And then they started fighting. And they're like, let's not fight. They're two different species. <laughs> That's the same fucking animal. That was the original Cold War. <laughs> yeah, yeah. U.S. versus Australia. Yeah, who has the dinosaur lizard? Yeah. Who's claiming the dinosaur lizard? Like, we both have it. We've got one, you've got one. It's crazy how those... I mean, I guess it's not that crazy. It's fucking science. That's the same animal, two completely different parts of the world. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We don't talk about this enough. 
No. Well, this like this is where you get into like that shit. Have you ever heard about like like scientists believe that there's like this I forget what they call, but like that all fungus, all mushrooms on the planet Earth are like in communication with each other. I did not know that. So like there's this I'm t- going to totally fucking butcher this, but there's this like when you start breaking down like tr- trees and the seasons and like all that stuff, there's like there's the obvious stuff like, oh, there's less light. So the trees, the color changes. But like there's stuff with like plants and fungus that it's like they it happens the same way everywhere around the world. And they think that there's like a I don't know, either like a like a dust, like a pheromone thing that they like emit emit to like communicate with the other fungus of the plant. Dude, it's fucking weird. But yeah, it's that whole like interconnected like how the fuck is there two basically gators on the opposite sides of the earth? Well, there I was seeing something again. I get a lot of my facts off TikTok, where <laughs> there's these. I believe they were monkeys. They're native to Brazil and West Africa. Okay, and they're like they were together when it was Pangaea, and then the, they just start shifting, and then some monkeys stayed there, some monkeys stayed there. But like, at what point did the monkeys go? Like, we just can't cross this, dude. Well, it's when whenever the the countries got separated enough apart. That was like the original Berlin Wall. <laughs> yeah. That's monkey Berlin Wall. That's what yeah. the Atlantic Ocean is. <laughs> That's so stupid. Keeping the monkeys apart. That's right. To like look at, and eventually it got like far apart where they can't go over there, but they can see their family members. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, it is crazy when you like see, like when you sort of like roughly piece together like all the different continents and they do kind of all like... They all fit together. They all like fit together kind of, yeah. It is kind of nuts. How about the ones that ended up in like Greenland? They're like, fuck. (laughs) And then one monkey's wife's like, I told you we shouldn't move south and he's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude, like Iceland, like uh, like people go to Iceland, dude. but apparently they have no like natural resources there. Zero. Everything has to get shipped up there. It's so expensive. It, yeah, it's like a cold, desolate like tundra. It's like a wasteland of cold, uh, unless you want to be covered in hot mud, in Which, like a fucking spring. Iceland's really had a glow up the past like ten years. What do you mean? No one talked about it. No one ever talked to, about Iceland. And then Mighty Ducks D two came out where they played Iceland. Then we talked about them for a little bit. And then Game of Thrones came out, and they're like, okay, Iceland's sick. We're all going to go to Iceland. Really? That, I'm pretty sure that's, Ice, that's Iceland's history. Dude, the, the thing I love most about Iceland is, like, during the, 90, the 80s and the 90s, like, all the black metal. Like, do you ever hear about that shit where they were burning churches down and stuff? I real nervous when you said black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no black people there. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. No, I'm talking about, like, dudes named Loki who have, like, black eyeliner and like of long hair and they're like i am the holy host of the hoary nether worlds like yeah dude if you're from that place where it's cold and dark all year round except for volcanoes you're gonna be like that too yeah but there was like a stint where the black metal got out of hand and these guys were going around like burning churches and shit no that's punk rock dude. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. pretty awesome no it's 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 metal oh it's metal yeah it's metal hey, do metal people punk not like rock. punk rock uh, as someone who d- produces shows with alternative people, uh, yeah, there are delineations. Like <laughs> what with trans people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like more punks and yeah. metalheads. Like, trans people really know the difference between punk rock and metal. Yeah, like, yeah, why? yeah. <laughs> they get along. Like they, they're like they'll get along like in the same like uh, ecosystem. But when you st- if you start <laughs> div- divvying up lines, like there is a difference. Like think about it. Like there's Pantera, and then there's like. The Ramones. Right. You know what I mean? Like They're like, like orangutans and spider monkeys. Exactly. They're <laughs> all they're all monkey either. they're all monkeys, but there's like once you start getting into the throes of it, it starts divvying up. I gotcha. You. you know? Like punks usually aren't like well, unless you're doing like British style skinhead punk shit. They're I usually not like means. like your modern day punk is usually not like racist, but then you have more metal people that like there's maybe some Confederate flag shit going on. Oh, yeah, Leonard Skinner. Well, I mean, yeah, they did. Well, have that's just Confederate, Confederate flags. Flag. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. Some, yeah, there's some sort of Venn diagram where it's like <laughs> it's metal, punk rock, and Confederate flags. Yeah, and you <laughs> you're gonna end up somewhere <laughs> yeah, yeah, in this yeah. vortex. You really don't want to be in the middle. 
No, no. Because then you're like getting into like emo territory. Midwest emo. Yeah. Oh, that's my least favorite of the. Uh, but my favorite of the rocks. Oh, my least favorite of the rocks, but my favorite like uh, TikTok meme that guys will do. Well, oh, be like a tonight scene from- will be the night that I will fall for you. That one. It'll be like a scene from. Uh, it'll be like the scene from The Office where Pam, uh, where Jim confesses his love for Pam, in the rain. But then one guy just starts playing a riff on the guitar. <laughs> it gets me every time. I watch those fully. Every single time. Wait, have you seen the weird dude on TikTok where he like dresses like a ghost Native American guy? And he like sings. In the in park? The, yeah, and he just like sings these like covers. Yes, I have. He's, he has a good voice, but he's a weird dude. Dude, he's a, such a weird fucking dude. Well, one thing that's coming up back in my algorithm. I brought this up three years ago when Taylor Schmidt was my co-host back in the, And shout out to Taylor Schmidt. I'm getting uh, Native American dancing again in my TikTok algorithm. Really? That's a bit, yeah. I don't know what I'm watching that the algorithm thinks I want this. I do watch them to like the whole time. I have no idea, though. It would just be like an authentic Native dude dancing. I got a weird... I, I, was, I was getting a weird algorithm for a while. I started... I followed this dude who was like playing the spoons... Like he was this like young kid from like like Arkansas where he's like like classic spoon playing, of but course. he was like sick. So I was like, that's sick. So I followed that, bro. Now I'm just getting, now I get Spoons. flooded with like weird instrument playing people. Okay, I'm following all of them because they're <laughs> fucking sick. There's a guy that plays, you know, like the mouth harp, yeah. that weird thing that like goes in your mouth like, dude. This guy looks like a fucking hillbilly. Bro, he plays mouth harps from all over the world. He's like, this right here, means. this is from Swahili. This is an old Swahili mouth harp. We're going to give this one a try. And he's just like... Dude, it's fucking sick, dude. How'd you get into mouth harps? Bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what I got going on in my algorithm? It's... uh. So I watch a lot of like uh, people will critique food, usually around New York, my algorithm gives me. But recently, it's given me these two severely autistic kids who go to restaurants by themselves. But they'll go to like Golden Corral and Red Lobster. One kid just went to Red Lobster and he critiqued all the shrimp in the all-you-could-eat shrimp uh, package. A-plus content, dude. But then they met each other. And then they're starting to do collabs. Uh, it's, it's And they're like, this pizza's real cheesy. I give it a 7 out of 10. And you're like, that's not even a good critique. <laughs> and I watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking about... Are you talking about uh, Chris Barnes and fucking... <laughs> I don't think he's that. He doesn't no, rate food. I'm, I'm yeah. joking. It was a bad joke. I couldn't even think of the other person's whose face I have in my head. Chris doesn't rate food. Uh, no, one kid he did, uh, he went to Dollar Tree and bought all the food there, and then he ra- <laughs> critiqued the food. It was good, dude. I'll send it to you. fuck, Yeah, dude. it's good content. I used to follow this. There was this kid who was like, yeah, he definitely had like autism and like a lisp really bad, and he would be like, today... I'm trying the new Mountain Dew Berry Blast flavor. And, like, he would just, like, try different sodas. Great. Shit like that. I'm in. There was a, there's a dude in Australia that I followed long before TikTok even came out where uh, every video he would start, he goes, Hello, my lovelies. And he would just try sausages. It was it Michael from uh, Love on the Spectrum? No, but he sound, but like he could be, he might as well have been. That's my dog. Dude. But yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, have you been watching Down with Love? No, I'll check it out. I'll check it out before our next episode. It's n- okay. I'm really glad that they did it because I don't know if I've talked about this on the show, but like, do you have you watched all of um, Love on the Spectrum? I didn't see the U.S. one. I saw both Australian seasons. Okay, did you... So wait, I believe it was the Australian season one where there was... They matched up an autistic kid with this girl with Down syndrome. Go on. Okay, so they matched them up and this kid could like... The guy, he like... I mean, they all live with their parents, but like for the most part. But like he like could hold down... He held down a job. He played instruments. He like had like probably like a, you know, a middle school like... Probably like reading level vocabulary. Like he was, 
He, he, he could, could get function. By. He could function. Yeah. You know? He could uh, pack a, a bag. Yes. Okay. They fucking paired him up with this girl with Down syndrome. Her vocabulary was like a total of three fucking words. Her tongue hung out of her mouth. And her comprehension was not great. Right? It was so uncomfortable to watch them on the day. And that's the only couple I felt this way about because of the tipped scales of, I don't know, intelligence. Yes. Like he would be like, I really like you and I would like for you to be a princess with me on our date. And she would just stare at him and be like, yes. And then they would go do stuff. And like the whole date was him being like, I've had very much fun with you today. Would you like a sandwich that I made for us? And she'd just be like, yes. <laughs> that was it. And the whole time I'm like, why did they match these two? It's not, compa- it's not like, it felt wrong, right? Because they're like different styles. Right. You know, <laughs> styles. <laughs> you know, like, it's not like, it's not working. And I've said this to people who watch the show and they're like, oh, you, th- that's not really fair of you to say all this other shit. I'm like, no. Then they come out with Down With Love and I'm like, I guarantee you that's why they did this. Because you can't be mixing the styles. They had to get you warmed up for the show. Yeah. Or just like they did that one and they're like, this is, we shouldn't do this. <sighs> Let's keep the aughts with the aughts and the downs with the downs. <laughs> the aughts with the aughts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Why do all And now they got all the downs together and they're doing all the aughts together. And it's way <laughs> less uncomfortable. We, so what you're trying to say is we shouldn't segregate by race, but we should segregate by mental disability. <laughs> yeah, dude. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Just trying to get your soapbox. You gotta dude. get, you gotta, listen, if you're gonna play matchmaker, let's like be real, let's do real matches here. You should run for office. <laughs> <laughs> you should run for office and say, this is my platform. <laughs> you would get most people behind you. We gotta get the right types with the right types. <laughs> yeah. People are like, I did think they miscast that show also. <laughs> yeah, that guy. I got that guy. Anyone who wa- anyone who's watched all of uh, Love on the Spectrum knows this couple that I'm talking about. It all the other couples, I would still like have fun watching it, but it'd be like, there would be a part of me that's like, this is this is cute. This is cute. This what? is sweet. That one couple, I'm like, this this should be illegal. <laughs> this shouldn't be allowed. It's like mixing species. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like one of them's drooling and the other one's like talking to the sky. Like it's like what is happening right now? Why do all like severely autistic men, not women, men, they talk like town criers? <laughs> Wait, please explain. They're like, I very much enjoyed this date with you. <laughs> Would you like to come back and have a sandwich? <laughs> like, why are you, why are you announcing everything, <laughs> dude? There's this one couple on fucking down with love that like they met and they fell in love like immediately, right? And they're, they're it takes place in New Zealand. Oh, that's so. Fun. There's this it's one like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, there's this one couple where they've like immediately started just making out, and they're making out all over the fucking place, right? And God bless the girl's parents. They're pretty fucking chill. So at one point, it's like the end of the first date. And they're like at the backyard. Or it was the second date. They're like at the girl's house. And the boy's like sitting with her. And they're like kissing on the couch while the parents are like in the kitchen. How much tongue? They're You'd tonguing think, it up. Yeah, yeah, they're they're tonguing, tonguing it up. up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the tongues are big. You know, it's what? hard to. What is this about the the Down syndrome community? They got big tongues. They got the tongues, the foreheads, and the eyes. It's yeah. like the thing. Yeah, oh, is yeah. that the three? Yeah, those are the three main. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that the Holy Trinity? Yeah, <laughs> physical features. Yeah, physical yeah, features? yeah, yeah, dude. Oh man, I can't make a clip out of any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just focus. Um, no, dude, but they're fucking making out, and all of a sudden, like. The dad like walks by and the kid looks up. He goes, I'm in love with your daughter. Nothing's going to come between us. Not even you. (laughs) (laughs) And like goes back to make it out with her. Yo. And she's like, I'm in love, dad. And just like hooking up on the couch, dude. (laughs) And you can't fight that kid. He's strong as shit. So strong, dude. So strong. He's probably the strongest one on the whole show, to <laughs> be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're all pretty strong. I will say, gun to the head, if you're like, you got to go out and hang out 
with like a down or an ought, I think I'd pick a down. You pick it down. Yeah, because you know what? Because they're always down. Because they're always down, baby. <laughs> Dude, that was actually That's really good. so stupid. Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> um, no, because you know what they don't do in, in Love on the Spectrum? They're like, meet Rich Apple. He hates sirens, yeah. books shutting, and dragons. He loves flowers, painting, and ocean breezes. Down with love, they're just like, this is rich. <laughs> There's no like triggers. He's picking up cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you break running through walls. That's <laughs> 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 the you. You hold up a car, you just let it go. <laughs> Start waving at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you just pick a tree up out of the ground. <laughs> you just unroot a tree. <laughs> yeah, dude, they are so strong. <laughs> it's crazy they're how so strong, strong they are. They're the they're like ants for people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's it? Just all ants have Down syndrome? <laughs> that's why they're so strong. <laughs> oh. Vegas was fun, though. <laughs> Bro, I want someone... I really want someone <laughs> to to redo <laughs> the Marvel movies, but just make Hulk with Down syndrome. <laughs> Is that not what they already did? Well, he doesn't really have, like, the Down Syndrome features. Like, they gotta give him, like, the eyes. <laughs> well, I think, and I, I'm not, you know, I couldn't get my uh, Marvel history wrong. I think originally they did, and they're like, that's too offensive. Just make him green. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Whew. Oh, I have an idea for a show. I thought about this last night. I was gonna riff on it on uh, Stone Street, but I didn't. Okay, here's my idea for a show. You know, uh... Love is blind. Yeah. Okay, so love is blind. You try to meet your match through a wall. You don't know what they look like. You just try to get them by <laughs> their uh, by their personality. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's my show idea. <laughs> uh, it's called Blind is Love. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same exact show as Love is Blind. You just save money on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that on stage. You would spend so much more on canes, though. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought you were going to say was that they were going to, like, you know, match them up with people that are not going to know that they were blind. But no, you're just, let's save money on the wall. <laughs> Same show. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just blind. <laughs> oh. I mean, they wouldn't be able to journal either, so I don't know how they Fuck. would keep notes. But we'll figure that one out in post. Oh, shit. Fuck. No, this was a great episode. Oh, that was so fucking <laughs> funny, dude. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm going to come back from that one. No. <sighs> I'm also waiting on this. So I'm having a cleaning lady come for the first time. That's why I asked to do this a little earlier. Mm. She's, I don't know what's going on. She was supposed to come last Wednesday, and she just didn't show up. Did like, you get her on TaskRabbit? No, it was a referral from this girl I used to date. Interesting. And I was like, okay, like I'll check her out. I'm starting to think it's just my buddy just messing with me. Because she texts in such terrible English. It's like not even bad English. It's so bad. Like you're like, even if you're bad at English, you don't text like this. It's weird to get like a cleaning lady referral. Like is the price good? Like what's so good about her? They say she does a really good job. I don't know. Hmm. So we'll say I'll, if she even shows up. I'm starting to have my doubt she'll show up. I really think, like, I'll open the door and it's my buddies being like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hundred bucks. <laughs> you really thought we had a cleaning lady? <laughs> you idiot. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But, God, that, that Down Syndrome stuff is good. <laughs> Do we just end the episode? Like it's not. I don't, it's, I don't think it's going to get better than I that. Know where you're, oh, we're well. You're at like about an hour anyway. Fifty-four minutes. Oh my god. Yeah. There's going to be. I don't know if I could use most of these clips. 
<laughs> but God, was well, it we good. got the we got look, we got this, huh? Huh? Just the last five minutes is me just. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> you just see viewership sky rise. <laughs> Step right up. Yeah. That's a smiley face. Step right up, step right up. Pick your target. Come on the target. <laughs> That's like, uh, you might be a little too old for this. You remember Face from Nick Jr.? Oh, yeah. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like the blue or orange face or whatever. Yeah, you're like kinky face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really just like, do you want to come on a, a face or a target? Pick one. <laughs> Apparently our friend will... Uh... <laughs> We're going to find we'll out. Us. Yeah, we're going to find out. I'm going to have to reach out to him. <laughs> I, You know, I always thought about asking him on, but I thought if I told him, like, what's going on, I thought he'd be, like, offended. <laughs> I don't think he would. Okay, we'll have him on. I'll yeah. reach out to him. Yeah. Well, I, I, well, and also, another reason you're here, Eric Newman keeps telling me yes and then just not answering me. <laughs> He's and then he'll reach out to me and be like, no, okay, let's do it this week. I'm like, great, what time? And then he just won't answer me. And then I'm like, fuck, now i got to find someone. Are you DMing with him? I'm texting with him. Oh, you're texting with yeah, him? Yeah. Oh, that's even weirder. I've known him for fucking six, seven years now. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. He lives around the corner. Maybe he's just like saying yes. To, maybe he doesn't want to do it. He keeps reaching out to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure, what time? And then just nothing. I'm like, fuck. And then it's Thursday or Friday. I'm like, well, now I got to ask Metcalf or I got to ask Mancusi. <laughs> oh, you know you got Max Spinelli right over here, too. I know he's my next in the He's year. like I'm literally, literally across the street from you. I know. Well, he's not as bought into the foot thing as you are. Now, now, are you trying to book people that will lean into the foot thing or do you not really care? Here's what I'm noticing. We'll start at a general perspective. If I have a man on versus a woman, it's about... Three and a half to five X the viewership. For a man over. For a man, regardless of foot or no foot. Interesting. Then if you have, if you show your feet or you don't show your feet, that's like an additional 15 to 3,000 views. And then if you're Juan or Elliot, that's gonna that's good numbers. We're going all the way up to the top. Yeah, Juan's episode's like at almost 20,000 views now. What? Yeah. And he doesn't even take his shirt off. No. Mancusi came on, not this episode, the one before, and he showed his sock for a a bit. He has an entire catalog on Foot Finder now. They went into like his old Facebook pictures, his old Instagram pictures. They did the same thing with Juan, did the same thing with Norman. Wait, do I have one? We'll have to look. There's a You probably do. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Foot Finder or Feet Finder. And they make profiles of people. Yeah, it's just, it'll be like 70 screenshots of you on this podcast. <laughs> and then like for Mark, they dug into pictures like from seven, eight years ago. It's like a picture of him and May from like their second date and his feet are showing. And he's like, what the fuck is this? I was like, you made it, dude. I know you thought Rogan really helped you. This is this, it. The dark arts. You went into Rogan. Did you have a Feet Finder account when you came out of there? <laughs> I don't think so. Crazy. Whoa. And, and God bless you. Oh, I want to be on the registry. You probably, if I were to guess, you probably are. Yes, yeah. dude. Yes, screenshot this, you freaks. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll end it here. 58. Uh, you have anything you want to plug? Like it matters? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Check out my profile on Feet Finder. You're going to get so many DMs. You know that, though. I've already, they've already started. Yeah, they already started. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs>